his face to bear it. I'm getting a divorce in two weeks' time. You know? Yes. I'll marry you. You wicked, wicked man that has stolen my hat. <coughs> You're the hat thief, not me. <coughs> that makes two of us. Mm -hmm. Two hat thieves, two Alibabas. Baby. I got one more good news. Oh no no, <laughs> I can't take any more surprises. What is it? Baby. Got a job in an oil company. Oh my god! No! Congratulations! Thank you. Oh, that's fantastic. Thanks, honey. Thanks, baby. You know what? There's a see there's a friend of mine that's married to the CEO of this oil company. Now I've been disturbing this guy, telling him I want this job. And today that I made up my mind to marry you, the guy called me in the morning to talk the good news. You know what they say? A good wife brings her husband good luck. Oh, oh God. God. Wow, this is nice. Wow. <laughs> You've really moved up. Look at this place. How are you doing here? And how did you get in here? So, what do I always miss it? Listen, I know I've hurt you enough. If you know, what are you doing with it? I came to ask you forgiveness. I know it's really funny. Forgiveness. Do you like some coffee? I, I won't mind. Plain or queen? I'm a queen with you. That's coffee. That's cream. Out. Wait. What? 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 Oh, what? against the new girl, Chiwe, but it's just the two of us in the house. I can do all the work. Baby, I know how you... <laughs> I know where you're going, you know, but I'd like to make you this promise that I will never, ever touch that girl. Let her alone tell you stories about the devil leading me to do whatever. Come on, on it's not do. that. No, 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 no. It's okay, it's okay, baby. I understand. I understand. I know how these things are, especially what kind of history I've had. But I, I, I like seriously speaking now. Baby, this place is so huge. You know, it's like a football field. I don't want my girls stressing, cleaning a big place like this. The essence of working hard is to make life easy for us. Hmm? Buy ourselves some comfort. I don't want my girl stressing too much. Yeah, she, she's pretty. <sighs> she's pretty for herself. Who gives a sh Listen, baby. That girl is nowhere near your feet. Oh. I'm just, I'm just a bit jealous or something. I don't know. No. Mm -hmm. You promised me one thing. Yeah. You promised me you'll never lie to me. And you never break my heart. I promise I will never hurt my girl. I will never lie to my girl. I will never. Oh, I'm not joking. Baby, honestly, I will never. Besides, look, this girl has been paid to do what she's about doing. She's not really in this house. Because this place as well. Yeah. Hmm? Come on, baby. I know. I don't want you stressing, honey, because 
I you're have... all I got, baby. Oh no, I should have brought it up in the first place. I'm sorry. No, <laughs> baby, be jealous of a house, baby. It's really good. No, no, Standing in my husband's house and offering me a seat. What are you talking about? Oh, please don't give me that innocent look. I know you know exactly what I'm talking about. Husband snatcher. Husband snatcher? Really? Well, listen, I don't want to engage you in any argument. But let me remind you that it was you who ran away from your husband. Fortunately for me, He's not single and my fiancé. I don't know whoever told you that any right-thinking woman in a right frame of mind would run away from this well and a man like Usuji. I was wondering so myself. But now that you're here, maybe you'll tell me why you did it. Oh, I remember. You ran away with a very handsome rich man who turned out to be a foreign man who was after the money you got after selling Osuji's house. Osuji is still my husband. Now I want him back. So I'm giving you a week to have your phone and leave him for me. He's mine. <laughs> well, for better or for worse, that is the vow we're going to take very soon. That means I will remain with him for the rest of my life and no man on any 419 trait will turn my head. I bet he never told you who I am, did he? Oh, no, 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 no. I never wanted him to because you are a very depressing subject to him. Don't be talking so smart anymore. Start with me. Like I said, I'm giving you a week. After which I'll come for you. If you value your life, leave. Well, you have to do your worst right now and get it over and done it because I hate tricks. I don't know, I'm just so sick and tired of, of everything around my place of work. Can you imagine this? Because Angelina, just because she served her husband coffee for three straight days, she fired her. Coffee! I don't know what's wrong with that girl. The fact that her father gave her the company, she feels she owns the world. Baby, what's wrong? Are you okay? I want to know how your marriage to Nkechi ended. Oh, come on, baby. We've talked about this a dozen times. I told you. She ran off with her boyfriend after selling my house. She brought so much shame to her family and she came here to return my dowry. You know, that was it. When was the last time you saw her? Uh, about two days ago. About two days ago. In fact, she came asking me, no, she came begging me to take her back, but I refused. She even tried to use the dragon bitch in Gozi, and I refused. Well, she resurfaced here today. She what? Yes, she was here, threatening my life, giving me an ultimatum of one week to have all the fun I want with you and clear up. If I don't, by next week, I'll be dead. She did what? She said that? Yeah, she was here. We even had a fight. She, Chinwe was here. Chinwe had to call the police. She's in their custody in Area 6. Oh my God. You mean this happened today? Oh, poor baby. Now I understand. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, darling. Okay? I'm really sorry. 
I don't know what's wrong with this in Kichi. She's a lunatic. And she's capable of doing anything. We must take her trust seriously. Well, thank you for clearing my fears anyway. Donna, it's, it's not like, it's not. Well, you have to go bail out from the police. <sighs> Darling, I am going to make sure that girl is charged to court. I am going to make sure she's charged to court. And I will make sure she's in prison for life. Well, just, just make her sign a restraining order that if any member of this family is hot, she will be held responsible. That is all I need. Yes. Even more. Even more because she deserves to She I had the audacity to even walk in her and run. At my girl. Ranting her. Get him out at my girl. Baby, I am going to the police station right now. In fact, it starts right now. I need to teach that girl a lesson. I need to teach that girl a lesson. My own girl. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, I want to call my friend. Baby. Yeah. How did you go? Was she released? Yes. Oh, I wish she were, she, were, she were kept there for life. No, but did she sign your undertaking? Yes, yeah, she did. Oh, fantastic. I'm really happy about that because if she comes to this property again, I will kill her. Oh, she dares I, not. No. Definitely. I would kill her and claim self defense. It's been a stressful day. Yeah. Okay. Um, meanwhile, baby, I, I want to go and see my mother. Oh, she, yeah, she, she's doing really badly. Her health has relapsed. Oh, I'm so sorry, darling. I'm so sorry. Yeah, and I hear they have to operate. Really? Yeah, she has no choice, although she doesn't want it, but uh, I think the way things are going, she's going to beg for it. Oh, God. It's then. Yeah. How long are you going to be there? I don't know. Maybe after the operation. I'm gonna be alright, okay? Yeah. Alright? Sorry about today. No, it's okay. I'm, I'm actually the really one sorry. Okay, there's more than nothing to do. Alright? Okay. You better check what you put on the fire, eh? Check what you put on the fire. Okay. Eh? Before the pot burns. Okay. Go, 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 go. Hey. Mm -hmm. And if that water is ready, you bring it for me. Alright. Oh. Mm. Hey. Ah, oh, come. Oh, come. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Mama, I have told you, let's have this operation once and for all. Is it that you enjoy the pain? I fasted the whole of last week, eh? and I felt better. Mama, God helps only those who help themselves. Get the operation done, then God will heal you now. A pen is a terrible thing, and especially if the rapture is inside you. Uh, it will not rupture. Eh? Look, instead, okay, I agree. We will go to the hospital. Eh? Okay, so you're making me worry. We will go. How is Osuji? Hey, Osuji, he's fine. Yeah. How is he preparing for the wedding? Everything is going off fine, Mama. Mama. Eh? Hey! hey. Oh, hey. So you. Um, do you know two days ago? Eh. His ex-wife showed up. Turned up to do what? Where? She said she wants him back. Can you imagine the incident? That woman. That woman is that definitely insane. She's insane. Wants him back for what? Eh? So she does not want the poor man to rearrange his life after she shattered it. She's well, mad. Of course she is. Would you? Uh, uh, listen to me. You have to fight seriously. Usuji is your man. Of course, Mama. Of course, definitely. Ah! Ah! Hey! 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 Hey!
I'm taking Mama to the hospital. Mama, I'm, no, 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 wait. I'm, I'm waiting for you, my Mama informer. No, no, which Mama informer? Mama, let's start going to the hospital. Hey, hey, hey. this thing is taking too long. Just simple operation. It will take time. Who let her get my hand? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to get Mama's back, I think. Oh, Mama's back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't forget what I told you. Oh, oh leave that home, Mama. We're not getting stuck about the future. I'm a man there. Is she your mother? Um, yes, she's my mother. Come on, she don't worry. She'll be okay. If you believe in God, you will know that you're a winner in every battle. Yeah, I do. Um, you see, it might interest you to know that my younger sister is also having an operation here. Oh, really? Well, as you can see, I am not bothered. Because I am confident in who I trust. Whoa. So, just put your trust in God, everything will be okay. But so thank you for your comforting words. Thanks. I hope she's it's just I'm scared. Ah, doctor, how is she doing? Ah, uh, yeah, she's fine, you know, and you don't have to worry yourself too much. She responded well to treatment. Oh, thank God. Everything was okay. Doctor, can I see her now? Well, I don't think that would be a very good idea right now because we placed her under sedation you know, to make her relax. I know, but I, I am not going to disturb her. I just want to see her. You have to promise me to do this, I do. Okay, that's the case. Okay. Just go down this corridor. Turn into the first step. Yeah, I do it. Are you having problems with your car? your car? Yes, I don't know what is wrong with the car. Yeah, let me see. Have you opened the bonnet? Yes, the bonnet is open. Uh, the bonnet? Just run it. My name is Uju. It's a pleasure to meet such a beautiful creature of God. <laughs> well, thanks. And also, thank you for offering to take me home, okay? I really appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure.
you don't need to tell me that your mom is doing very well. Oh, yeah. You're looking very happy. <laughs> well, my mother's health is priceless, actually. Oh, your mom was very proud of you. Yeah. So, are you going home? I just want to get something down the road. Um, can I borrow a little of your time? My time? Just 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Only. And we can spend it over a drink or two, you know. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think my fiancé will approve of me having the drink with a man. Come you know? on, keep your fiancé out of this. It's only a harmless drink. Moreover, he doesn't need to know. Even if he gets to know, it's just a drink. So, just a drink. So, where are we going? There's a, there's a, there's a tree down the road. I'm sure you will like it. Well, this is better because I also want to get something down the road. So, huh? let's go. Oh, could you? I want to ask you a question. Go ahead. Do you believe that God created Eve for Adam? Yes. Do you also believe that each of the Eves in those joints, and even the ones walking the streets, each have a particular Eve created for them by God? <laughs> What's your point? Please hear me out. You see, I am 36. You're what? I have spent most of my life making money and searching for my Eve. That led me to a series of failed relationships, all the ending in disasters. All because I have been wasting my time with the ease of other Adams. Well, that was beautifully crafted. In fact, it is the best pickup lines I've ever heard in years. But I'm sorry it didn't work between both of us because I am engaged to be married. Maybe you should try someone else. Someone who is more naive. Please let me finish. I am sorry it sounds like a pickup line. Honestly, I'm speaking from the depth of my heart. You see, I have fasted continuously and have asked God to reveal to me who my wife is. So that the moment I set my eyes on her, I will know she is the one. Would you, honestly, the first day I saw you, you are called to me that you are my Eve. Well, God wouldn't have allowed me to fall so helplessly in love with someone else. Maybe you should pray and fast more. You know our God is a God of miracles. Exactly. I am as confident now as I was a few days ago when my sister was undergoing an operation and my God saw her through. All I ask of you is pray that God can open your eyes so that you can see the truth. That your fiance is not your Adam. I have waited for years to find you and I can still wait for as long as possible. You know what? Here is my wedding invitation. Just in case I turn out not to be your Eve, you are invited. And stop all this talk about me being your Eve, please. Can we finish this? Mama, you can't believe what happened today. You know yesterday when my car broke down, this gentleman offered to drop me at home. The same man saw me today and is proposing marriage to me. Can you imagine? <laughs> Youth of today, they are crazier than in my time. Mama, he said he has searched and searched, prayed and fasted for God to give him his wife. And as soon as he saw me, God told him that I am the one. And what did you tell him? Of course, I told him that I'm engaged, that <laughs> there's somebody I want to marry, so it's not possible. But that didn't even put him on. Rather, he encouraged him. That man, does he look as mad as he sounded? Mama, no. He actually looks very responsible gentle and nice and appears to be deeply religious he even said that god will open my eyes to see the truth that my present fiance is not the man for me don't be scared are you scared mama i must admit it does it actually sounded like like a prophet my dear religion has become a powerful tool that people use for their greedy and selfish end they think they can get anything out of people just with religion. So, don't be scared. Our destiny is in the hands of God, not in the hand of anybody. So the fact that it sounds right does not mean that it's right. God wants us to move on with our lives and take lessons from, the, from his holy books and not from any other person. Are you hearing me? Well, thank you, Mama. 
Ma, well, Mama, I think I have to go and sign up the bills. Yeah? Stay a little. I will be like going. No, you have to go home. You're well now. I, you're feeling better now. I told you, let's have this operation, operation, operation. You're waiting. I feel relieved now. Oh, darling. Looking sweet, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. How's your mother? Oh, she's fine. She was um distracted. Really? Yeah, she's doing great. This one, this one. What, baby? I call your mother at this argument. <laughs> oh no, you're kidding! I'm <laughs> gonna love you to death. Hmm. I'm for you. I hope my mom doesn't snatch you away from me. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. But talking about snatching, mm -hmm. how is my rival doing? Moses? Oh, um, Kitty. Has oh. she been here lately? Try you. She did not come this way after the police report. Okay. You know how it is? Yeah. I kick a butt. Whoa. Very good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But, but, but my mom is really going to be happy. Well, I'm going with you to the house. That is a very fun Of course, honey. Whoa. Baby, must you go? Of course I have to go. This is my mother's first trip to London. I have to be there with her. But baby, your mom is not a baby. It's not as if she's that sick. I think she can handle this all by herself. You know, I know your mom, she's such a strong woman. <laughs> I know you're trying to talk me out of it. Because you're going to miss me. But believe me. I'm going to miss you too. <laughs> I'm just going for like a month, you know, for like for a month. That's all. Oh, month, baby. A month is. Now I don't want my mom to get bored and confused. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to lose my baby. <laughs> You're sulking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't. I'm gonna. Okay, it's alright. Mm. Uh, okay. Okay. Alright, baby, let's go. Okay, I'm set. All the way to Europe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, come in. How have you been? Yeah, fine. Uh, you want to sit down? No, not at all. And where are we with you? Uh, she's on her way to London. I thought she was supposed to leave tomorrow. No, she left today. Oh, it is unfortunate she's going to miss out on this one. Uh, how do you mean miss out on this one? Actually, I'm hosting a few friends to a small party and I'm here to get you. I... Uh... I don't know, I I don't oh. think I'll be able to attend because I'm not really in the mood. With a jewel away, you'll be bored, Steve. Sitting on the house all by yourself. You don't need it. I don't need to beg for it. Come on. Okay, okay. Uh, I will attend. I will attend. I will come over. All right. Thank you. It's good to see you again. Thank you, my brother Joe. Osuji, oh, Osuji. Oh, hey. <laughs> You're finally here. My well, brother. I have to send Ngozi to come and drag you all by herself. I thought you were not coming. Come for my dream. Osuji, you're alone. I can't believe this. What about Uju? She went out of town with her mother. Oh, 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 the London John, isn't it? Yeah. All right, all right. Well, um, as you can see, we are having a phone here and you have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> um, Baman, please give him anything he wants, okay? I don't want complaints. Meanwhile, give me a, a shot of brandy, okay? I well, Osuji, please catch your phone, hmm? mingle around, okay? Um, I want to see that little sad girl at the corner. I'll give you the gist. No, okay. Yeah, chill out. <laughs> Mm. 
Hey, my brother. Get me. <laughs> a lot of fun is going on here, you know that? Oh, a shot of red level. Oh, whiskey, man. It's time to join this party. Having fun like everybody else. Hey, come, 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 come. What's the matter? Talk to me. You're looking like something is terribly wrong. This party's going on here. Everybody's having fun. So why are you not inside? Why are you sitting here all by yourself? I once read a magazine that if no man walks up and talks to a girl in a party after 30 minutes, she's a party ghost. Ain't nobody. Even a dumb man is better than her. <laughs> really? Wow, no, that's a new one for me. That's a new one. So tell me, have your 30 minutes elapsed? I've been here for two hours. I'm so hungry. I just have this drink for the night. I, have to, I don't blame them. After all, I don't believe in their class. They are super rich and I'm only a poor thing. I hope you're not one of the super rich too. No, no, no. I'm just a regular person. But do you have anything against super rich? Frankly, I don't know. I don't know any of them well. And I don't know what to say if I met any of them. My dear, listen. They're just like you. Okay? Whether you're poor, you're rich, everybody's the same. It's just in the head. Okay? My name is Osujio Koli. What's your name? Lisa. Lisa Odili. Lisa, it's nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. And snap out of this. Do you understand? The fact that your friends are not here doesn't mean it's the end of the world. And guess what? Let's go get our food. Okay? Mm. Get up, let's go get food. Whoa. Oh, Mr. Sudi, here you are. Uh, Gozi, how are you doing? Wonderful, who is she? Oh, okay, this is my friend, Lisa Odili. Um, we're about catching some food out there. <laughs> well, the barbecue will be ready in about half a minute. Why not wait a little? I think the young lady is fine, so don't worry. We'll be, I'll be back shortly. Let me try and get her food. All right. Okay, I'll see you shortly. No All right, easy, go. Great party. Thank you. What would you like to have? Rice and chicken. Mm -hmm. Jollof rice or fried rice? Fried rice will be okay. Alright, two fried rice, okay? Um, get us two bottles of soft drink as well. Alright. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. So tell me, have you ever been poor in your life? No. Mm, uh, and you? Yes. Where are your parents? I don't stay with my parents. I stay with a friend. Life is fair to you. You're super rich. And you're lucky. I don't know about super rich. I just think I... I'm just like you. Struggling. Life is all about struggles and struggles and struggles. But don't worry. Once the focus is there, things are definitely going to change for you. Okay. Uh... I hope she's gonna hurry though because I'm famished. Alright, um what we'll do is that let me let me get your number. I don't have a phone. You don't have a phone? Yeah. Wow. Well, 
I guess we'll keep it just somehow. Okay. Thanks for giving me the most wonderful night of my life. I must go now. You're welcome. Anytime. Hey, uh, good night. Okay. Take care of yourself now. Bye bye. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, who is there coming? Hello, Mr. Suji. Yeah. You're sleeping alone? Yeah. I'm gonna see. Oh my god. What do you expect? Well, I prepared breakfast and I wanted you to join us. Okay, that's that's really thoughtful of you, but I'm not hungry. Oh. Mr. Sergei, who was that girl? What? What girl? The one you sneaked away with from the party last night. I thought I told you her name is Lisa Odili. And what did you do with her? Okay, she must know. I took her to a restaurant, she ate some food, and she went home. Mm. Anyway, as a close friend of you and the two, I was worried. I know how fond you were to each other. I mean, she has not been gone for 24 hours, and you've seen another woman. It worries me, and that was not wise. Because sometimes I think you overreact. I don't. I have to start going before my breakfast gets cold. Thank you. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Welcome. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Wow. You're welcome, Yes, I, I try to be. I try to be. You're welcome. <laughs> oh. This looks good. Hmm. Now nah, you want to spoil me. Hmm. <laughs> That's really good. Okay. I've been meaning to ask this. Mm -hmm. What do you really do? I'm a writer. A writer? Mm -hmm. Oh. Wow. It's, it's quite a good profession. Just that, um, in Nigeria today, it's not quite profiting. It's the only talent given to me by God. And I believe I'll profit from it. I've sent all my works to a large publishing company in the UK where people actually read. It's good. I like your spirit. <laughs> by his grace, you'll make it. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Tell me. Why do you like to cook this? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alright. Me? Okay, I'm expecting you. Okay. Alright. Okay, take care. Bye. Sorry, sir. There is a girl out there who will not go away. She said you picked her up at the club last night and I promised that a secretarial job in your office. Me? Pick somebody over the club? Who is this person? Um, Eukarya. But sir, I never knew you had been clubbing. I was actually feeling sorry 
thinking you've been lonely because of Uju's absence. I don't know who this person is. Honestly, I don't know. Who this, look, this must be a joke. An expensive one too, if you ask me. What the hell can this be? Let me see what this person is. Okay, sir. Funny, right? That's about you, Kiria. Or did you find it funny? Look, some jewels can be quite expensive. Very expensive. Oh, I'm sorry. Sit down. So, what are you carrying in the envelope? Oh, it's one of my works I sent abroad. They returned it. They said it's good, but not good enough. Oh, really? Oh, that's sad. I guess I still have so many years to practice before I'm good enough. I've distracted you from walking up. I must go now. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's okay. Mommy should call me. I'll call you. But let me say this quickly. It's better to try than not try at all. Because if you didn't try, you wouldn't have known. So it is terrible not to try. So don't give it up. Okay? Mm -hmm. I think it's a, it's a good thing you're doing. And, come to think of it, you know, you, you've shown me the poor side of life. And I feel I owe you to show you the real side of life. So, dinner tomorrow night. That would be wonderful. Okay. Oh, okay. well, tomorrow night then. Okay. All right, take care. Bye. Welcome. Welcome to this other side of. Oh, what a day. I'm so sorry that I came in uh, pretty late. It was because I had so much to do in the office, okay? It's okay. Alright? What's that? Suji, also Suji, what's up? Man? Yeah, I'm good. You came my brother. Yeah, I'm cool, man. What are you doing? I'm alright. Well, I. Because it's gone out and I just felt I should come have a drink with you. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Well, I thought you were not you know, less busy, you know. Uh, but um, never mind, let me go. Oh, really? Alright. Are you sure? Oh, no. This is a beautiful house. Thank you. Wow, to God be the glory. Isn't that the husband to the woman living next door that you departed the last time? Yes, 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 yes. Don't you think he would dislike seeing us together? I mean, the wife never liked it when she saw us the last time. What's your business? I must say, that man is way too young for that woman. Ha! <laughs> Don't allow Ngozi to hear that from you. Or else you understand the difference between tiger claws and baby claws. So, are we going to somewhere expensive and glittering? Yes. 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 I promised I was going to give you a treat and that's exactly what you're going to get. I just think, you know, your dress is lovely, don't get me wrong, but uh, where we're going, mm, I think we need to step it up a little bit. Mm. Right, I'm going to go into the room and get you something that's just perfect for this occasion. Right? All right. Just relax. I'll be back in a second. All right? Whoever said money is not everything does not know what life is all about.
You're so good to me. Why? I don't know. Maybe because you're nice, you're intelligent, and you've helped me get away from boredom in the absence of my woman. So, if your fiancé returns, I'll be history, right? <sighs> don't say that. We both know it is true. So just the two of you live in this, in this beautiful garden of Eden. It is true what they say. The right atmosphere gives the right inspiration. Imagine this beautiful place wasting all day with nobody in it. Nobody using it when you're at work. If only I could just use a few hours to write. I swear, I wouldn't touch or disturb anything. In fact, I'll be gone before you get back home from work. You're saying you want to stay here and write? Yeah, please. Just give me a chance. In the most days, I don't get to write well because of my roommate. She's the one squatting me and, you know, I cannot stop her from playing music or letting her friends visit her and chat with her. It's not conducive for me and that's why I'm not progressing with my writing. Please. You say this, I, I, I'm, no, no, I'm sorry. No, no, It's okay, it's okay. In fact, I apologize. Who am I to you to even ask such a favor? It's not as if I'm an old friend. I have no right to request that of you just because you've been so kind to me. It's so unreasonable me and I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, it's okay. Alright. When you go... So, good morning. Um, Oga asked me to come and see him this morning. If Oga, I didn't expect anybody for tell me. He called my friend on the phone yesterday and left a message that I should see him first thing this morning. Come with this girl. You will I say I did Chris. I tell you, say so, Oga, you not tell me anything. Come out by this place before I better come for your head. Hey. Jump over. Come out for here. What's going on? Oga, what's going on here? He will not let me in. Aboki. Oh, Oga. She's my guest. Oh. Anytime she comes here, let her in, whether I'm around or not. I don't want to give her any trouble at all. How's the flight? Oh no, it was smooth. It was really nice. <laughs> so. A husband, does he? Or is she still our best friend? Yes, so. <laughs> <laughs> She's still our best friend. In fact, she keeps spying on me morning, afternoon, <laughs> yeah, night. Especially early morning. I trust that. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Hmm. Wait, till. does she know that I'm in town? Not to my knowledge, just that I feel. Oh, perhaps she went to one of so how is your female friend? I'm dying to meet her. She's there. You're talking about Lisa, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, she's there. Yeah, they are so so. So is your mom really is your mom really fine? Oh yeah. Maria General that was teaching me how to swim. Yeah. I had to switch over my mom to here. Oh. Right? She's not in good hands, it's fine. Oh really? Even they are ranting. Oh, I'll see you this. I'll see you my son. Uh -huh. I'm really excited. She's I like, listen, my, you sure you were sick all the time? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's she, she. Thank you so much, darling. 
Call the police immediately. I will do so. Don't worry, I'll call the police. Excuse me. Did she fall in love with you? No. She never showed the slightest sign. I don't know. Did you ever kiss her? For what? You know, I've learned to trust you after the past, and you've promised never to lie to me. That was why I, I didn't discourage you from hanging out with her. Well, that trust has not been betrayed. I'm still the same person. I will never betray your trust. I have absolute nothing to do with, I mean, nothing with that girl. I believe you. Thank you. rather die than leave with the man I love. <sighs> Look, there's no truth in this. You have to believe me. I'm completely innocent. 
I doubt if the police is going to believe you. Even if I do. Suji, as I said earlier, I'm Inspector John of the CID. I would like to ask you a few questions. Ready. What was the name of the girl? Lisa. She lived here with you? No. Who discovered the body? Two of us. How did she manage to be in your house? Well, she... Uh, persuaded me to give her this place to do her writings because her place was not con you know, convenient. Since when did you allow her the use of your house? About 10 days ago. How long did you know her? About three weeks now. Where did you meet her? Met her at the friend's party. After then, did you see her regularly? About four times. Do you always give out the keys to your house to strangers? I mean, girls, like girls who hardly know. See. Take a look at this note. I will rather die than to live without the man I love. This is a suicide note. It seems to me that there was an unsuccessful relationship between you and the girl. And she decided to kill herself when you dumped her. Inspector, I don't know if you're deaf. I said I barely knew this girl. But she, but she died in your house. If the reason she committed suicide has nothing to do with you, tell me. Why would she want to embarrass you by using your house to hang herself? Are you telling me that a house was not convenient for hanging? Has it was not convenient for writing to you? Look, Inspector, I don't care what you think. All I know is I've told you the truth and nothing but the truth. You see, Mr. Suji, I work with evidence. And what you're telling me now does not tally with my evidence. You need to come with me to the station. Are you saying I'm under arrest? I would just want you to write a statement, that's all. Our medical examiner's office will find out the truth about behind the matter after studying the cops. Are you ready? I'm ready. not to spend the trip in that place. Your place? Yes. Just believe me. Because everybody at the office today will be coming here to sing, forming to sympathize with you while they are doing what it is coming and confirming God's gossip. Or even worse. And you know in God's name, she's going to come here and drag her to your house. Please, go. Please, I think she's right. I can't. I'm just, I'm sick and tired. This is just too much for me for, for, for a day. I, I can't stay in this house, really. I'm coming with you. But baby, let's just go wash up and pack a few things. I'm coming. I'm just sad. I'm just sad. Thank you. Just take time. Don't take your time. Oh, Mr. Suji, good morning. Yes. Welcome. That's it. 
Here are copies of the statement you wrote. You wish to change anything? No. Are you still denying that there was nothing between the two of you? She was just my friend, a very casual friend at that. All right, we'll get to it. Uh, please ask me, Senator, to step in, please. Mr. Ne, sit down. Ooh, ooh. Mr. Ne, this is Mr. Suji. Mr. Suji, this is Mr. Ne. Lisa's roommates of number 31 of Buddha Streets. Now, Mr. Ne. Were you on friendly terms with Lisa Odeli? Yes, she was my best friend. Did she ever, in the last three weeks, mention Mr. Suji here? Yes, she did. Many, many times. From what she said, what was your impression of their relationship? Lisa said it in very specific terms that she was in love with him and he was in love with her. She said what? Oh, Mr. Suji, please, you don't interrupt. Miss Ene, did Lisa tell you that Mr. Suji is engaged? Yeah, Lisa says so. And it's pained her because Lisa is the last person who will attempt to snatch another woman's husband. She fought her desires for him, but he convinced her that he needed her. Did Mr. Suji say he was going to dump his girl fiancé for her? Yes, she said so. Oh, listen, listen, listen to me. Oh, Mr. Suji. No, 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 I don't know who's paying her to say the things she's saying. I don't know what her agenda is. I don't know why she's doing what she's doing right now. I warned her over and over again. But she would not listen. I fought her at the weeks of losing our friendship. But Lisa would not hear. Miss Anne. You, how was her behavior on the night before her death? Lisa came home late that night. She sat down and started writing. She looked like she's been given a death sentence. She wouldn't tell me what was wrong. She slept. The morning before I woke up, she had gone. And since then, I've never seen her again. Never. And do you think this change was caused by a quarrel she had with him? Maybe he told her he couldn't dump his fiance again as he promised? Yes, I think so. And you think this was the reason for her death? There's no doubt about it. It's your papa that, that killed her. It's your father. This girl, this girl is... Somebody played this girl. Mr. Suji. Oh, this is the person you should be investigating, not me. Mr. Suji. You need to investigate this girl! This girl must be investigated! I know the person you're looking for because I do, have any, I, I do not have anything to do with that girl. Enough! This is... I've told you, this is my office. You have to behave yourself. This is the only one I'm still saying because your office, because your office, this, this uh, girl would have been somewhere else by now. Uh, Mr. Ney, that will be all for now. Thank you.
Officer, what is the meaning of this? Uh, Mr. Sui, we are getting some... Uh, Oh. Bring in Miss Chinwe. Are you referring to Chinwe, my house, <laughs> Or are you afraid she will have an agenda against you, too? Oh, this is perfect because she knows everything. So she has no reason to bear you any grudge or to wish you evil, right? Grudge none or to wish whatsoever. You evil. None whatsoever. She's the person for you to call. Let her come. Well, ah. We'll get to know. Yes! But that's thief. I don't know who paid out. Mrs. Chima, you're welcome. Uh, I interviewed uh, Miss Chima yesterday, or last night, in their house. Miss Chima, can you please repeat? before Mr. Suji here, all what you told him last night. I didn't tell you anything. I swear it's I didn't tell him anything. Even when he gave me that 5,000 euro not to tell me what he about the girl. I didn't tell her, and I've not mentioned a word about it to anybody. So my sister will talk. She's a parrot, she talks too much. Gee, but your sister only told me those things you told her already. I'm sorry, it is painful. Maybe I'll just have to read part of your sister's statement. Oh, Franka, does your sister chat with you about Mr. and Mrs. Osuji mm. each day she comes back from work? Sure. In fact, all the time. She's crazy about Mr. Osuji and his fiancée. So recently, did she tell you that Mrs. Osuji was on her way to London? Yes, with her mother who was recuperating. Did she tell you about uh, Lisa, you know? Did she tell you about a young lady, you know, Mr. Suji's friend? Come on. Believe me, that was a shameless act. Mr. Suji disappointed me there. Chumwe even walked into his bedroom one day and saw the guy, the girl lying on Mr. Suji's bed, wearing his white pajamas. Can you imagine? Wait a minute. Did you say your sister saw Lisa on Mr. Suji's bed wearing his wife's pajamas? <laughs> it broke Chimwe's heart completely. She could not believe Mr. Suji would defy their perfect relationship just like that. And did your sister see Mr. Suji on the bed with her? No. Mr. Suju would not do anything like that in front of Chingwe. He left before my sister came in. Okay. Mr. Suji, do you still want to sign this statement? No. Yeah. Well, please. Now you can. Guess who is home? Oh, Mr. Innocent. Hey, hey, he's just at the house having a problem. Darling, you're welcome. Would you? I beg you, leave him alone. And if you don't, you will wake up one morning, find different women on your bed, and all this hanging in different ceiling of this house. And if you don't know, he paid Chin with 5,000 naira not to let me know his secret affair with that girl. Shut up! Come and shut my mouth. Shut me up! And even if he shuts me up, the truth has come out before the board. You can't shut the word up. You cannot. Would you? Don't let him sweet talk you with his lies. I beg you, leave him alone. You're no longer a kid. You're no longer a kid. Leave him alone. Come and stay with me and hike. Look, look, this now I've had enough of this. <laughs> now I'm warning you. Get out of my house right now. Okay? This is not the just, office. Just, just, just leave, okay? It's, okay. it's fine. It's fine. It's talking about out of my house! Are you, talking what kind of rubbish is out there? Are, are you mad? No. You, you want to come mess up my home?
you. Baby, you don't have to push her that way. Do you know what you no, just no, said? No, 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 but seriously, did you give Chinwe 5,000 naira not to tell Ngozi anything? But, darling, listen, what, what, what? No, no, no. I, okay, I, I, I did. Why? So that I was about things like this. Because I knew that if, if, if Ngozi found out, she would have blown things out of proportion. And this is exactly what's going on. I would speak on the phone every day. Why didn't you tell me? But I was, baby, I was going to tell you, but look. I would have just sounded stupid, just the way I'm sounding right now. Well, you have to explain why Chinwe found out lying on our bed in my pajamas. Baby, look, I don't know how to explain. How Baby, that is no explanation. Something must have given her the confidence, the guts, to lie on our bed and wear my pajamas and you're here saying you don't even know why. Wait, wait, wait. Darling, the girl is poor. Why she wanted to know what it felt like to wear a rich person's pajamas? Huh? I'm, I'm sure while, while uh, uh, the girl was trying to stop, uh, uh, she went chancing on her and that's why she had to do whatever it is. I don't know, but darling, and even the other day, I, she, I gave her that dress, your dress to wear to... You did what? Baby, I, I thought I told you. I, I, I gave her that dress that you don't wear anymore. That's this classic joint I had to take her to and... and Baby, 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 look. But I'm trying to explain, baby, please, I'm trying to explain to you that you know. Don't you think Kate is slightly too old to be your bridesmaid? Well, that's the best thing that's going to happen to her life this year. So if you deny her that, she would probably go and kill herself. It's Greg. I have been going through torture thinking about you every waking moment of my life. How are you doing? Oh, thank you. Have you been praying for God to open your eyes? Oh, well, I, ha I have been praying for God's strength. And, um, you, uh, you know, planning a wedding is, is not an easy task. Uh, you know what? I suspect that you're with your man right now. Bad timing. I'll call you later. Yes. Well, how, how did you get my number? Come on, your number is boldly written on your wedding invitation card. Oh, I, I remember. Well, they are still expecting the results of the autopsy. They also said they think it might be a case of murder instead of suicide. What? Murder? Yeah. Yeah. You know, the chief medical examiner said he suspects something, but he's not too sure at this moment. Like I said, the results of the test will prove everything. Can this be? People should just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. What? What? They keep calling here as if they, they, they give a shit about us. All they want to hear is, okay, when are you going to jail? That's what they want to hear. That's why they're calling us. I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong? Everything is wrong with our lives right now. You, you might even go to jail. That's not the question. Why did you take my hand off your shoulder? I'm in a bad mood. And bad mood don't encourage cuddling. Excuse me.
My name is Lisa Odeni. I am not going to tell you all the details of our love. It is just the cold details that I want you to know. Osudi and I fell in love. His love for me was not as deep as mine for him. Maybe it happened because he was lonely without you. Maybe he, he was flattered that I'm beautiful, but it happened. Quickly, magically, and for a wonderful while until both of us forgot about you. I was in heaven for a while until it stopped. Also, you loved you too much to continue. But you, you have finally won back your man, which is why I'm writing you this letter. I ended the relationship myself when he did not have enough courage to call it off. It's over between Osuji and me. I am not fighting you. I am not a rival. He is yours. And within me, I know so. Have a wonderful life. Hey. Darling, how's your night? What is this? What's what? The gate man just bugged us this morning. Lies, lies, lies. Any her roommate is lying. Chingwe is lying. Lisa who wrote this letter of confession to me is also lying. Everybody's lying except you. Baby, you have to listen to me. Yeah, I'm listening. I'm listening to you. It's what I think, yeah. This, this, this girl is trying to make me pay. Pay for what? I, I, I don't know. I, I think she's trying to make me pay for not, for not falling in love with the way she can love. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I thought you said you went, she was not in love with you in the first place. Well, that's what I thought. Oh, that's what you thought? Yes, I, I thought she was not. Honestly, I thought, I thought she was not. Jeez. I can't believe you. I can't believe you. Please, I, honestly, I am, I don't know what's going on here. I, I, please, I'm begging you. You know what? God knows I, I have tried. God knows I. I have tried to listen to anything you have to say to me. I I I I I I, I try to believe you, but you know it's just not taking it anymore. Baby, I can't. Baby, I'm begging you in the name of God, please. I'm trying to believe. You know what? Baby, I'm begging you. Please, I'm please, I'm begging you, please. Look, I swear to God, I am innocent. I am not accusing you of anything, okay? And I don't hate you. Just that. I can't take it anymore. Please. I have to just leave this place because baby, please, it's I'm over begging. between us. Baby, can't be over. Don't lie to me, okay? I don't want to lie to you. Don't lie to me all this while. What you doing? I'm Get out of this place, okay? I can't take it anymore. Baby, please. I don't want to believe it. Why do you want to leave me? Where do you want to go? I'm going to my mother's house. That's what I'm going to. Baby, please, just, I need you. Baby, I love you. Baby, I love you. I just can't appeal to you. Please disregard anything which you must have told you concerning this case. I know all the evidence she has points against me. It, uh, it makes me look as if I really, I really did it. But I swear to God, I did not have anything to do with that girl's death. I swear it. Well, you don't need to bother yourself much. Okay, because from, the, the, from day one, I've always believed that you know nothing about that girl's death. I don't believe all those stories they tell. Well, you, you don't know how, how good that makes me feel. At least someone believes me. I just wish Uju would think like you. Well, Uju is only a child. And you don't expect her to think the way I think. It's just that sometimes I wish that she is a good judge of character. And if she is, things would have been a lot easier. <sighs> No, 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 no. Just take it easy. Okay? Why is she? She went out. She went to see her friends. But she will soon be back. Take it easy, okay? I've been talking to her. And I'm sure she will listen to me. Do I get you something to eat? I'm okay, ma. You sure you got Yes. How are you doing now? Well, so so, just there. Would you called me earlier on? She did. Yes, she told me 
about Lisa and the letter she wrote. Uh, she's very unhappy with me. I know. And I tried to convince her, but there was nothing I could do about it. We can't really blame her. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. I mean, I, I know how difficult it is for anybody to imagine. So I don't blame her. Mm -hmm. The policeman, Inspector John, he came by the office this morning asking about your movement and Lisa. But I thought the case was closed at suicide. No. Not at all. That John guy is a very good talker. He can get anything from anybody who is not very smart. He persuaded him to tell him to tell him the truth about you and Lisa. But I told him nothing. Or do you want me to go to the station and find out his new development? Or what he's up to? <laughs> I... How do you intend to do this? Oh, <laughs> he thinks I'm crazy over him. So he told me if I should remember anything, no matter how small, I should come to his office. I will go there tomorrow. Mm. You know, I, I know what to do. It's time I do something. But what did he go to? Oh, <laughs> I'll be very careful. Hello, Dorothy baby, how are you? Okay, so we are fine. Mm-hmm, how are you too? I'm in America. Hey, you are enjoying my day. Suji was here this afternoon. What did he want? That's a funny question. Do you know why he came? He wants you to believe everything that he told you as the truth. Mama, he has already told me that. Why is he repeating himself? Would you? Why are you so hard hearted? Mama, I am human. I have feelings. I can't go on pretending that everything is fine when my fiance's lover committed suicide in his bedroom. Would you? I want you to look on the bright side. At least she committed suicide because he wasn't returning the love she had for him. Because of you. Mama, he already know that I'm his. Why did he, why would he want to sleep with another woman? Same reason some men keep mistresses. My dear, it's a hard cold truth that sometimes men are polygamous by nature. I don't know how God works the equation. As women can remain faithful to one man, and it's not so with men. Well, Mama, I really don't know how I will ever handle that. My dear, most sensible women do. They know that even if their husbands stray, they still love them and will still come back to them afterwards. And that is the secret of a happy marriage. All you need to do is turn a blind eye. Pretend you don't see him. I wish I had known this when your father and I were still together. And I tell you the truth. Suji is as perfect as a man can be. Mama, how can one think things over when one is angry? Take your time. But bear in mind that anger is a destructive spirit that solves nothing. Two, Osuji is very fragile now and he needs your support. And where I sit, wherever he gets his support from, he will get it. Even if it comes from Gechi, his former wife. Cook lunch, do you care? I'm uh, not hungry, I just ate. So tell me, how is your madman? Who is that? 
The madman who saw you one day and proposed to you the same day. Mama, he's not a madman. Now stop referring him as that. He's my friend. And in fact, we just had lunch together today. I don't believe you actually saw him again. Look at you. I don't trust that man. You don't have to trust him. He's my friend, not yours. Oh. So, Mr. Suji, what do you want to know about Lisa? Everything. Everything, please. Yeah. Why? Because she was found dead in my house. Because her sister here said I had promised to marry her when I barely knew who she was. Honestly, I barely knew who Lisa was before she, before she died. And also because your sister has my life in shadows. Shatter your life? Dan, did you hear that? What did I tell you? You see, this is not an easy situation here. Of course, nobody says it is. It's more complicated than you know. You see, I'm in love with Lisa. I asked her to marry me on my birthday two weeks ago. You did? Yeah. She only told me to wait for a while. Why? Because of you, of course. She was hoping you are going to dump your woman for her. So I asked her to confide in me. Today she asked her to wait. I knew there was another man. But I kept pleading on Dan's behalf. Finally, she told me she was in love with a rich man who has another woman. Dan. Uh, I'm really sorry. You, you, you must accept my heartfelt sympathy here. But I'm not that man. Thank you, Mr. Suji. Is there, is there anyone else who knows something about her? No. Lisa came to my life by chance. And I knew nothing about her. How long did you know her? Six months ago. Six months ago. You met her where? I met Lisa at a restaurant. Janice restaurant at number 12 kilowatt streets she's a waitress there she do serve me and my sisters anytime we go there to have our food she's a nice girl she was warm sensitive and very intelligent she was cutting with a friend under a difficult condition it was then my sister and i persuaded her to come and squat with us and she moved in, and then I proposed. <laughs> the both of you are getting along like old friends. Dan, he killed your wife to be. I did not. Yes, you did. I did not. And you know what? The truth will be out for the whole world to see. Even your wife can see through your lies. She was here this afternoon. I pitied her because she wanted to believe everything you told her about Lisa. Look, my wife. What's my wife got to do with this? Why did you meet my wife? When I told her how wonderful Lisa really was, Lisa would never lie to anyone, nor snatch another woman's husband. She left her fully convinced that you are a liar never to be trusted. Yeah? Yeah, they're coming. She has never been herself ever since this incident happened. She has been calling board meetings and her agenda is, is for the board to throw you out as the general manager of the company. A guy, you have to think fast because she said you're no longer to be trusted. I think she will succeed. Has she has succeeded already? It took her three sittings before she was able to convince them. And as I speak right now, they're going to be announcing it officially tomorrow. Look, I advise you to go beg that woman so that she can have a change of mind. No, 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 no. I'm not going to beg her. Yeah? I will not beg her. You see, Nkosi has accused me of every crime in the world. And the way it is right now, she's, a, she's at the verge of killing my relationship with Uju. 
I will not eat more mud by crawling up to her begging. I will not. Anyway, thanks for telling me. No, it's all right. It's okay. I quite agree with you. It's... Well, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Um, what about Uju? Uju is not around. And I don't want to to know any more about her. She's done enough damage. Come on, you surely have to tell me. I mean, I promise not to let them cousin know. Why do you want to know? Well, it's just that um, I just feel like I'm talking to her myself. I mean, you think I'm happy the way Ngozi barged into your affairs? I mean, I, I would think a lot. I think I'll be a lot better if I try to patch up things between both of you. I mean, what are friends for? Would you presently at number 30? Lawrence in road, Yaba. It's all right, it's all right. But put it in mind. Better think about your, your job, you know. It's very important. Look, if Ngozi is the only reason why I will live, I would rather die. In fact, if not because of you, if not the fact that you're my friend, it would have been a different case. Uh, you know best. You know best. It's okay. You know the best. I mean, um, let me just put that from Inspector John? Oh, not yet. Uh, or do you want me to go to the police station and find out their new development? Oh, that'll be very fine. You know you make a great detective. <laughs> You're really going through a rough time. It's okay. I'll survive. Um, I wish there is something I could do. Let, uh, should I get you lunch? No, 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 I'm okay. Besides, I think you, 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 you really done extremely well. Please, just, just take things easy, okay? Uh, thank you so much for everything so far. All right? So you run along now and I'll catch you later. Let me finish this packing. and a cheat. Every day I keep finding out more about his affair with the dead girl. You're the most unreliable man in the world. Anna said you dropped by. Yes, yeah. I did. Must be yeah, well, she told me about Dan, her brother, who was supposed to get married to Lisa. In other words, I spot the Romeo and Juliet affair, right? It's a joke to you, isn't it? It is not funny. He was in love with that girl. He wanted to spend the rest of his life with the girl. But you came around and turned her head just to satisfy your sexual desire. Baby, I have told you it's not what you think. It's not. How many times will I repeat this? If only you had trusted me. If only you had trusted me instead of all this lies and deceit. Just, just listen to yourself. If only I had told you the truth. If only I had not been deceiving you. If only I had... Don't what, 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 what. If only I had... Look, you're beginning to sound like Ngozi. I'm sick and tired of this whole thing. You know, I just don't want to hear the sound of your voice, okay? Ujuma, why are you talking like this? It doesn't mean it. I don't mean to raise my voice. All I'm trying to say is... Mama, just get him out of this place or I'll leave this house for you. Just get him. I don't want to hear anything you have to say. I'm tired of all this life. Would you come back here? Where are your manners? Hey. Mama, 
please. You, you need to talk. You need to talk to her, please. I will. Please. I will. It's not what she thinks. I have done everything humanly possible to make her see reason with me, but she wouldn't listen. Please, I'm really sorry. Please, Mona. Thank you. All right, I have to go now. All right. Please take care, okay? I was afraid you would find it difficult to leave the place. No, it wasn't difficult, it was easy. Wow! Well, nice place you have here. Oh, I'm glad you nice. like it. Yes. Please sit down. Okay, oh, thank you. <laughs> well, well, well. Now that you're here, I am very, very confident. Well. So, how are you doing? I'm doing alright. Okay. Um, I'm I just wanted to find out something from you. Mm -hmm. How long have you been born again? Um, about two years ago. Why do you ask? Well, because w what you told me mm -hmm. turned out to be true. That your fiance is not the man for you? That is a liar and a deceiver. Well, <laughs> thanks for letting me know. I, mean, I have always said it. My God is a true God. He has never let me down. Oh, thank you, Father. So, does it now mean you have agreed to marry me? Oh, no, 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 no. We, 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 we need to take things slow, okay? We don't have to be in a hurry, all right? Okay, if that is what you want, sir. I mean, now that I have found you, I can afford to wait as long as you want. So just take all the time you want, and uh, it will be okay. So what do I offer you? No, 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 don't bother. Um, I'm actually on my way out. I just came to thank you for what you, you did for me. Come on, why are you such a hasty girl? No, I, I really, I was... Come on, you only just got here. I know, but we still have plenty of time to be together. Mm. I really need to go now. Come on. Thank you, let me just walk you off. Thank you. You know, you always come here when you have a troubled heart. Old habits never die, they say. Why? Why? Doing here? Come on. I'm going to offer my support and lend a helping hand. So, how can I help out? I don't need your help. The only thing stressing me at this point is your being here. Come on. Listen, I know you don't believe me, but when I see you in torture like this, my heart could never be at peace. So how can I help out? I said I don't need your help. Okay then. At least let me apologize for challenging your fiance the other day. I'd like to apologize to her personally. How is she doing? She's okay. She's very fine. You know, about that dead girl, you're too trusting. See, people don't go around writing their intentions on their forehead. You should have been more careful. Okay? She's okay. Very okay. Waiter!
early in the morning and besides we had such a wonderful time last night just the way it used to be when we were married this is not said this once once you get up get into the room get out of my pajamas and leave this house this moment what are you talking about I, I thought we talked this over last night and you said you had forgiven me forgiven you yes me forgive you what you did is unforgivable. No human will ever forgive you for, for almost destroying his life. Not me of all people. Got that? I, I wish I could turn back the hands of time. I cursed the day I met that demon called Emeka. He made me leave you. He made me turn my back on you. Our love was so magical. It was heavenly. Please, whatever you do, please, don't hate me. Please. Yes, I will hate you. I will hate you. I'll just love you. I don't know. I don't know. Inspector John? Um, yes, I saw him and... And what? It's bad, sir. I... The police think Lisa did not commit suicide, that she was killed. I mean, murdered. And they think you did it. Is that all? Yes, sir. And what did Inspector John say? Um, no, I tricked him. I told him I was worried about you, if there is something he could do, so... I pretended I was thirsty that I needed a glass of water. So he went out to get the water. Then I ran around his desk to check the papers on his table. Then I saw the report. He came back with the water and while I was drinking it, he received a phone call from the medical examiner's office. And they told him that Lisa was also pregnant before she died. Pregnant? Yes. She was five to six weeks pregnant. Now everybody's going to believe you seduced her. When she told you she was pregnant, you killed her before she can scatter your marriage. Right now, he's preparing the warrant for your arrest. No, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I've been a fool. Big fool. So she got herself pregnant so as to frame me as the father of the child has to extort money off me if I refuse to pay her she will blackmail me by telling Uju and the rest of the world huh huh you know this war can be so 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 treacherous but if it is true that Lisa did not commit suicide that means whoever killed her must have hanged her body in your house to victimize you that means Lisa is not the only enemy. There is another enemy elsewhere. Yes. You're right. There's another enemy. And that enemy we must find. And the earlier we find them, the better. You understand? Because my neck is on the line right now. But how? So there's a place she once walked. I'll start asking questions from there. You better start doing that now because they are coming to arrest you. Uh, um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Come, let, let's, let's go inside. I... I'm 
Quran. Hello. Good day, sir. And how are you? No, my name. I used to be a regular at your former place of work behind the street. Oh, please forgive me. My friends always say I'm not good with faces. Guess they were right. Well, I hope you've not forgotten about Lisa or Dilly. I can't be that hopeless. I can't forget the face of a co-worker. <laughs> Jimmy Salsuji. Yes. Oh, I saw your picture on the newspaper. Well, I guess that's why I'm here. <laughs> I guess you're in a mess. Oh. So how may I be of help to you? Well, I want you to understand that Lisa did not commit suicide. But that's what the paper said she did. Well, the papers will say something different very soon because she was murdered. Well, the truth is, I suspected that too. Why? Lisa, not that one. She was too busy. How do you mean busy? She was always busy looking for a good fortune, you know? She was something like a gold digger, always winning her ways into people's hearts. The first day she started working with us, she became the instant favorite of our madame. She won her way into everybody's heart, including Enes and her brother. Enes and her brother? Yes, sure. She was always inquisitive, you know? Anytime someone big comes to the restaurant, she rushes down to me to ask me who the person is. One time, two faces came to the restaurant to eat. And I took his order and she asked me, she offered me 100 naira so that she could serve him herself. She would die for anybody with a packed bank account. You mean someone like me? Exactly. An oil magnet like you is a top choice. So you're saying that she moved on to somebody else when she discovered she couldn't get what she was looking for from me? Is that why you killed her? I did not kill your friend. By the way, uh, who was she living with before she moved in with Anna and Dan? Um, she was living with a man. But she didn't want anybody to know about it. She was healed once and she called me to get a salary for her. And she wasn't strong enough to get it herself. And when I got to the house, the man answered the door and I asked her who the man was. She said I shouldn't tell anybody that the man was her uncle. What was this man's name? Um, I've forgotten his name. What is this day? Number 32, Silifat Street, off Ijeku. Is it Ijeku around Iko Yeah. 32, Silifat Street, off Ijeku. Thank you. I really appreciate this. Alright, you're welcome. Alright, take care of yourself, okay? Alright, bye. I'm here to inquire about Lisa. Sir, you shouldn't be here. The police just left here not quite long. The police? Yes, Inspector John left here about 10 minutes ago. Why? Because of Liz, of course. Uh, she found out. The owner of the restaurant where she used to work told uh, Inspector John the same thing she told you. you. Told me what? That Lisa was my niece. You are uncle? Isn't that why you are here? Uh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, tell, me, tell me some more. Tell you what? What I know about Lisa? Yeah, 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 just just that. Well, not much, really. Um, she was my sister's child, and when my sister and her husband died a couple of years ago, she came to me, and I had to take her in, as I was her only relation. Uh, she was helpful, nice, 
and didn't want to be a drain on me financially. Then I got a job for her at that restaurant. After a month, she met that Enne and she moved in with her. That's all? Yes. So why did you go to the police when you learned that she was dead? I, I, I didn't know she was murdered. Do you also know she was pregnant? Yes, I know that. Are you aware that it was a lover who killed her? So Inspector John said. Do you know who her lover was? Yes. I'm listening. Can you tell me? Uh, it was um, after she went to live with um, Emma. I discovered, she, I know she has a, a spare key to the house. And she still has some of her belongings in the house. So, um, after you gave me the job at the company, she used to come to my office to visit me. Then I used to allow her to live her life. Um, were you the one that took her to the party at Ngozi's place? Oh no, I didn't even have the time to to talk with her, because I met her there. It was after the party that I started noticing. Um, noticing what? That noticing that someone else was using my apartment. And I remember that she has a spare key to my house. When she came to my house, I, I asked her. She owned up to it. Uh, she said it was her boyfriend, that uh, she doesn't want to entertain her boyfriend in Enes house. And she told me the reason why. She apologized and that was that. Go, go, go. I'm, I'm listening. I would never have known if it had not been for that last time. A day, just a day before she died. When she came here and... Uh, and, and, and then what? Just, just, just go on. I'm listening. And told me everything. She was crying out her heart. She told me how she said she was desperately in love. How she hoped for her lover to dump his woman. And that's how she realized that it will never happen. And um, the only thing left was to give up. She said she was going to have a baby and she begged me to do something. I asked her to tell me the man's name and, um, and she did. And she said it was you. Sir, I never imagined that you could do such a thing because you helped me secure a job and you have been of help to me. So you decided not to go to the police because you thought I was the one? Yes, sir. Um, when Inspector John came, did you tell him all this? I really hated telling him. And I told him because it was a murder. And one can get into serious trouble if one holds back evidence of murder. Well, I have two points for you. One, I had nothing to do with Lisa. Two, I did not kill your niece. Of course, I never thought you did. I told the police so. It's crazy for anyone to think of you as a murderer. Well, thank you so much for your help. I have to go now. Where are you going to, sir? I, I hope you're not going to your house because the inspector almost said he was going to your house to arrest you. Don't worry. Um, I'm not going home. Then where are you going to, sir? Don't worry. This town is quite big, okay? I'll see you around. Thanks a lot. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, good, sir. 
this is your mix, huh? I'm fine, so. So please, I want to know, have you continued your mother's sausage? Please, you see, Oh, <laughs> where's that? So I'm talking to you right now. I'm still in the same restaurant with him. Yeah, I am partner. We are number 13, Vegan Street. Number 13, Vegan Street. Okay, okay, sir. Very good. So, we should keep an eye on who is coming this man. Then we block the entrance before you escape. Inspector Jones. Yeah, come in, the door is open. Ah! Hey, Inspector John! You're right. I am not Inspector John. Inspector John at this moment is coming in town trying to look at me. Let's just say. I was gonna kill you at this moment. It was the worst case scenario for me. So sentence me anyway, because I already have a mother child on me, right? So I got none to lose if I decide to kill you at this moment. Please don't kill me! You know, it can get worse than this. What are you trying to do? Come on. <coughs> what? Come on, come on. Are you mad? What are you trying to do? What, what, what do you think is Are you mad? Are you with me of this? Please, don't, don't, don't kill me, please. Okay, I'll, I'll spare your life on one condition. Then you tell me everything I want to know. Please, I'll tell you anything you want to. Anything. <laughs> Good. So, you said your brother proposed to Lisa on his birthday. Yes, but he told you. Today you were here. So, did you suspect that Lisa was, I mean, dating another lover before that day? Yes. 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 When, when is this your brother's birthday? On the 2nd of October. So that was the day she finally admitted to you that she had a lover? Yes. Yes. Did she mention my name? No, but, but, but she described you. How did she describe me? She said you're an oil giant who is married to a rich woman.
Married to a rich woman? The husband of a rich woman. And your baby. Yes, you fall. <laughs> you can go take your fall. Thank you. You're a very good girl. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, do you like poetry? Yes, I love poetry. The only thing is that I don't have any talent for writing one. Only to appreciate and enjoy it. <laughs> you see, there is nothing one cannot achieve if only one is willing to try. So, are you willing to try? Oh, yes. Wow! But wait, nothing is coming to my head right now, so... Okay, okay. That kid just went out to me. Okay. So, what is love? What is love? Love is life. Love is life? Without love, life is not worth living. Life is not worth what's living. Death. Death. Is the best friend of the loveless. It's the best friend of the loveless. The bed and pillow. The bed and pillow? Where their troubled hearts rest. Where the troubled hearts rest. rest. Wow, gosh, this is so a bit dark. Oh, you see, the darker the thing, the stronger the feeling it evokes. Most of Shakespeare's best efforts are tragedies, you know. Mm -hmm. <sighs> well, I need some drink. Do you want some too? Yes, I do. I actually need a drink myself. Alright, let me get something for us. Okay. <clears throat> Something, but nothing came to my mind. So oh, how far have you gone? I haven't eaten anything. <laughs> but so you're a pet. So what's the your work and you know? Right. This, this is what you do. You know, poetry is just an expression of emotion. Um, it's not like a it's a good answer. Emotion that you're talking about. Like emotion. So it's a pet. That is quite a sound play. Yeah, I don't know. It's really funny. It's <laughs> funny all of a sudden. But I'm um, good. I'm 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 good. I don't know, I'm feeling funny.
Yes. It's Greg. She's out cold right now. And I was fine, she'll be back. Yes. I have a sweet five note. Mm -hmm. Written by her. Yes. So she pointed herself because she didn't expect the food to dump in half of me. Yes. That's the way the police would look at it. <laughs> you have no cost to worry. I'm a professional. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back. What's the report? Well, as you can see, everything went on very well as planned. You needed to see her face. She was like, Shh. Does that make me a winner? Of course it sure does. That's why we were celebrating, you know. Well, the question here is, what about my money? Relax, would you? <laughs> Relax? You said that I'm able to make her leave a suji and fall for me. You were barely me at this. What's holding my money? She has obviously fallen for me. Come on! The game is not over yet. This is just the beginning. How about my money? Chinwe, you should be the least person to complain. As soon as I'm back home with Osuji, you'd have a raise in your salary and you would be the second madame. Come on, I need money. I'm broke. You know, this is the week and I've got some catching up to do, you know? But the deal is not over yet. This is just the beginning. Come on, Kenji. What in the world do you mean by the deal is not finished yet? I was able to make her believe all that crap about fasting for my bride. But you were here was able to convince her beyond reasonable doubt that Osuji was an incredible womanizer of high rank. And he also played her part too. So what else do you want? It is certain now that she will leave Osuji. Come on, we should be paid, or don't you think so, ladies? Yes, we do. Listen, you'd all have to be patient with me. I mean, getting money for the clothes, renting the cars, the guest houses, it has been so much expense on me. But I promise you all, once I'm back in Osuji's house, I can get enough money to pay you all handsomely for what you've done. Okay, you were taking a lot of risk here. What makes you believe that if you show up now, Suji will accept you just like that? Listen, I know him. I know him in and out. I know he'll be in an emotional state because Suji has left him. And what? He'll need a shoulder to cry on. Trust me. So what's the next stage of the plan? Um, he would arrange for her to have um, some sort of accident. As in, kill her? Exactly. Is that really necessary? Yes. Because the truth always has this way of coming out. We don't want that to happen, do we? Oh, well, well. In that case, it could cost you 100,000 naira extra. What about if the police finds out? The police would not be able to do anything about it. I mean, it would be a suicide case. So They'll just say she committed suicide because Usuji left her to come back to me, and um, nobody gets arrested for suicide. So should I arrange for a suicide then? Yes. Um, I will need to be motivated first. Fifty thousand naira will do. Okay, okay. I'll I'll look into it and I'll get across to you. Not to worry. Okay, guys. Osuji, Osuji. Yeah, like. Ah, 
Sit down. Thanks. I'll see you get it back. What can I offer you? No, no, I'm very fine. I'm very fine. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Okay. okay, okay. So, how is it? Oh, she just came out. Your wife's mother just called her. I know, because I was the one that placed the call. Yeah, so as to give you and I some space to talk. Okay. So what's in your mind? Well, you remember Duke? Good Duke. Yes, Duke that works with us. Lisa Odile's uncle. Oh, oh, for sure I know him. <laughs> uh, he told me everything about you and Lisa. Uh, I knew it. I knew one day she, he would find out. Um, I hope, I hope you had not somehow told him, Gossi. Why didn't you tell me about her? Brother, I, I wanted to. I wanted to, but I was, I was scared Ngozi would get to hear. I mean, when I heard she, she committed suicide, I, I just said to myself that why should I rob myself in it? Since she has died, she's dead. I mean, let her nat natural love die alongside, you know. I mean, she tried to understand also, Ji. Ike, how did you all start between the two of you? I was on my way to, to my house. She came begging that I should give her a lift. I didn't want to. Well, she said she was um, Duke's niece. I mean, I looked at her, she was looking so cute and innocent. I decided to give her a lift. Of which, on the way, we, decided, we branched by to have lunch in a restaurant. And we met often and often. It was all innocent. Until one day, she invited me to Duke's house. And that was it. When we had it, it, she, the moment we had it, she changed. You know, she, she started making some comment that she loved me, that right from the very moment she, she set her eyes on me, she died for me, and, you know, she was saying this, she was saying that, that she, she would die for me, she would even, I mean, she was so, saying so many things. Man, man, I was in this too. I couldn't help it. Do you always cheat on Ngozi? Well, that is one funny thing that you I must answer. I swear to God, I've never cheated on her. You won't believe it. I mean, I don't understand how this girl got into me. I can't just help it. You know, I was so scared of Ngozi. I knew she would throw me out. You know how she is. I tried the best I could. When Lisa's love for me got crazier and crazier, she just stood up one day and told me that she can't handle it any longer. And she said I should divorce Ngozi for her. I thought it's not possible. Can you imagine that? That I owe everything I have to Ngozi. I mean, and she, if she gets to here, she'll throw me out. And we will live with no cobble. God. Did you bring her to the party? Yes. Yes, I did. I mean, that was the day both of you met, and I was so I was so happy about it. I thought she would she could switch to you and leave me alone, but she refused. On the day she called me up to your house, and uh, the day she died, you know, I she said on phone that that she had a plan, a good news, you know, of which I eventually came. She told me that the good news is she's pregnant for me. And the plan is... And your plan was to frame me as the man who impregnated her, right? Yes. So, so see, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I never meant to hurt you. I'm so sorry. This, oh God, she really planned everything on to me. She said... She has already told her roommates that both of you have agreed to marry and they're going to live with you for her. And that um, she told her uncle Duke about your relationship with her. 
she even went as far as sitting on your, I mean, sleeping on your bed, to, so that the Chinwen would catch her red-handed. And she even wore Uju's pajamas, so that, so that it would, it would look so real. Lisa. Well, I, I did the best I could. I'm sure she planned it so well. She said with enough evidence pointed to you, she wouldn't want your name to be robbed in the mud. You would love to settle out of court, you know, without the media knowing. And she, she, she said you were going to give us some money, you know, and we would decide to, I mean, we'll get married and I leave and go see. That's a good plan. You know, it would never have worked because I would have gone to any length to prove my innocence. Of course, you know, modern technology, I would have taken a DNA test to prove my innocence. I know you are up to something. I know you and you are up to something. And you, what have you been saying to him? Nothing. You better tell me what you're saying to him right now before I lose my temper. Good evening, everyone. And what on earth are you doing? I came to say that Lisa did not commit suicide. No, you can't be serious. Oh, yes, I am. Today, while you couple my arms, I installed a voice recorder behind that chair. I did the same thing in Suji's house. So, I've been listening to all what you have been saying, okay? So complete your story, okay? Tell us how you went to Suji's house and met her. And how she threatened to make your life a living hell if you did not agree to her plan. And you had to kill her. Eh? Since it was the only way to save your marriage from nothing. Just to victimize a Suji. It is not true. It's not true. So are you telling me that you did not go to Suji's house that day? I did not. I didn't. And when she told you about her plan, the frame of what did you tell her? Listen, I, I had everything. I wanted everything I got to tell her to go to hell. But she wouldn't listen to me. She threatened that she's going to tell Ngozi and I let her be. She gladly dropped the phone. The fact remains that the moment I dropped my phone, Ngozi popped in. I mean, you know I can hold the fly. What would you know? I can hold the fly. It's not me. Officer, if you want to find the truth, I will tell you. Oh, Suji here is the killer. You are talking rubbish. Hi. You're talking rubbish. Now, let me tell you. On that day, I was going to his house to pay my visits. Because I thought he would be very I got to his door, which was slightly open. And overheard him again. She was begging for Suji not to return. And of her heart of Suji, saying to her with a handy voice, and you think you can come and bring my relationship. That he was going to kill her face huh? when she does that. And because I don't want to be part of it, I left. And that was when he killed the girl. This is a fool. No, no, talking rubbish. Let me tell you. It couldn't have been a Suji. Because on that fateful day, a Suji was at the gallery. Watching a movie. Tell her. Tell her. The ticket seller recognized him as the husband to the famous singer. And his dry cleaner found him cinema tickets in his pocket. You know what? We'll all march to the station. And when we get there, we take him out. Let's go. Yes, let's go. Let's go. We we'll see who is telling telling the truth. Let's go. Let's go. This. This. Sure, sir. This man has an important information for you. Please, I'm very busy. I'm very busy. You can see this is Suji's uh, case sitting up in my head. 
Take him to take him to Inspector Joseph. As he can handle. Actually, sir, he came in respect of this Suji's issue. Suji's case? Yes, sir. Who is it? It's the gate of Mr. Suji's residence. Sit down, sit down, sir. Please sit down. So, what do you know about this case? Um, over. Me, I come for work today. I shall come. They tell me, see, the John I rest on for Oga Ngozi Osibane. Say, I kill him for the girl. We we'll let Oga. No, be no kill him for the girl. Are you sure of what you're saying? But Oga, I know when I know when the problem of Madam Ngozi. Because if I tell him for you now. I will pursue me for my work, and I am not ready to go to the not in the work. Please. I promise you, Ngozi will not do you anything. To my love, that day with me, I know well, Pa. Oga, Ngozi, with two big eyes, I get on for chasing it, they enter for the house. They come again, they beat up for the girl. The girl had to shut up for help. But come on me, I do like say I know they come. Why didn't you go in to help her? Abba Oga, come on me, I know go fit fight some for too big I like your voice in If I go my damn I go suck me for my work, pa. To Oga, I put up five minutes in it. The come come, I said. The clothes I don't hear. My damn Ungozi hearing, I don't come at the blood I can't do for there. Why didn't you tell anybody until now? Oga, I tell you, see me, I know well, pa. Now, as if it's an enemy, I did. Today, now, I discharge them for me. I couldn't come for work. Say, so I must I tell them for you, pa. Malam, I must tell you, I got sense. And let me promise you again, that Ngozi cannot do you anything. Okay? Madeline. I think we are getting somewhere. This is the information I've been looking for. Uju, you are sleeping. Uju, Uju, wake up. Uju, wake up. Your fiance is free. Oh, wake up. Wake up now. Ah. Ah. Uju, Uju. That's a terrible loss. She was such a young and beautiful woman. Should I get a bottle of wine and two glasses so that we can celebrate? What are you talking about? Is that what you've always wanted? Are you out of your mind? Wait, Are you crazy? What do you mean am I crazy? Isn't that what you've always wanted? You've always wanted her to, 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 to get away from here so that you can take over, right? No, 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 just tell me, isn't that what you want? Isn't that what you want? Tell me. Denying anything. Your accomplice has given you up. He said you came up with this entire plan to get back your man. Break it. Made our right for suicide note without warning. And then fed her poison. 
and you took her home. So that you look like she committed suicide. Because the question I want to ask now is why kill this girl when you succeeded in making her fall? Well, she said she doesn't want the truth to come out eventually. So I have no other alternative to do it. What do you have to say for yourself? I want a good lawyer. That's your problem. Madam, you are under arrest. You have every right to remain silent. Because whatever you say will be used against you. Officer, arrest her. You're dead. Mm. You're dead. I guess it feels good to be free. You can say that again. But for the records, I'd like to be addressed with more respect. What are you talking about? I have never disrespected you. Of course not, darling. What I'm saying is, you are addressing the new senior manager of Platinum Arts. What? Wow! That's fantastic. I went to pick my belongings, and when I got there, I ran into all the board of directors. They just finished the meeting, and they saw me, and they said, Wow, my boy, we've missed you, all right? We're appointing you the new senior manager of Platinum Oils. Wow. You know why? Why? Because they've been losing lots of money. They got to realize my importance in the company. Wow. Charlie, so it's just great. God is wonderful. Never forgive me for ever doubting you. Just find a place in your heart to forgive me. Afro-Bravo TV, enjoy various genres of entertainment programming from the comfort of your home through our satellite-delivered channels in your favorite languages, French, English, Swahili, Sri, Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba, and so on. Afro-Bravo Dubbing Services, with the largest number of dubbing studios in Africa, we can help you dub your videos to major languages in Africa, Swahili, English, French, Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo, Wolof, Zulu, and so on. Afarevo YouTube, the largest YouTube partner in Africa, with over 500 channels of top African entertainment and millions of eyeballs daily, we help thousands of video creators make money on YouTube. Afarevo, the revolution is on.